Hey, my beautiful Tea Party Squad. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Chikoa, and at my Tea Party, I love to share with you planner-related videos, organizations, and some haul videos as well. But in this video today, I'm actually going to be doing a planner-related video, and I'm going to be planning in my social media planner for the week of September the 21st through the 27th. And I realized that this week is the first week of fall, so I just thought, let me go ahead and get in that fall vibe and do a fall spread. And so that's what I'm going to be doing this um, for this spread, something simple and easy for me to do, and also, like I said, get me in the, get me in the mood for fall. So a few sticker books that I'm going to be using for this spread, of course, is going to be my Fall Value Pack sticker book. I actually utilize some of these stickers um, in another um, spread, but I want to utilize this book a little bit more for this season, so you will possibly be seeing some more fall-themed spreads. But I just thought I'd go ahead and tie this in um, for this week as well so I can get started and mapping out some things. And I'm bringing back an oldie but a goodie, which is my Squad Gold sticker book. And I love this sticker book because it has all different seasons in this book. And I believe it's the Squad Gold seasonal. But last fall, I did use quite a bit of my fall stickers in here. So I did leave a little piece of stickers in here. So I'm thinking about use, utilizing some of those and incorporating it into my spread as well. So another sticker that I'm thinking about incorporating with this spread are these Mambi sticks. And I love these Mambi sticks, y'all. So they're jumbo stickers by the Happy Planner. And this is like the seasonal. You have your summer, winter, and fall theme type stickers in here. And so I do want to incorporate them somehow in this spread. So that's what I'm thinking about doing, um, but we're going to see. But I want to show you how it actually looks. So this is the actual sheet. And so as you can see, I want to use those squad girls at the bottom with the leaves kind of falling or like they're throwing the leaves up in the air. So I'm thinking about using those, and hopefully it doesn't cover it too much um, in this spread. So I'm, we're going to see. I don't know. We're gonna, I'm going to try to work it out. <laughs> so I'm thinking about using those stickers because I don't track a lot in my social media. I don't really need to, the space because I do use my weekly stats on the sidebar there. And then I normally put the videos at the top and then do some little decorating in the middle and the bottom area. So we're going to see how that works out. But I'm going to try to put all my videos at the top and then decorate in the middle and the bottom. So we're going to see how that works out. Um, so a few of my crafting supplies that I'm going to be using um, is my Tombow correction tape. And I like to use that to kind of white out some of the lines there um, on the spreads. And then my retractable pin blade X-Acto knife to like cut my washi tapes and such. And then my tweezers as well to help me place down some stickers. So Madison is actually about to record herself um, practicing her violin for her orchestra class. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this video up so that I can talk you through my process via voiceover so that I can allow Madison to go ahead and be free willing with her violin as loud as she needs to be for her audition. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, you guys. So I decided to go ahead and start with my sidebar here in my social media planner. And I found these colorful boxes out of that fall sticker book that I want to utilize um, to tie in with my fall theme spread. And with this sidebar, I do like to keep up with my end of the week stats for YouTube and Instagram. And then I also came across some colorful alphabet stickers that I want to utilize um, as well. And I want to just go ahead and just kind of notate YouTube and which um, colorful box is going to be for Instagram. So I do like to utilize those as much as I can. And I was going to actually use that to spell out Hello Fall, but I just didn't want to overcrowd my um, layout. So I just decided to just use those alphabet stickers just to notate YouTube and Instagram and keep up with that. And now I also like to, um, in that, that little area there, I do like to, on that sidebar, I do like to use either decorative Stickers are sometimes I'll put like a little quote in there. And so I decided to go with a quote that says, so long summer, hello fall, just to kind of close out the summer and welcoming in the fall. And then I'm using some more colorful boxes from out of that fall sticker book. And these um, colorful boxes um, are going to notate the days that I'm going to actually have videos come out. And I'm just going to um, write in the videos that are actually coming out for that day. Um, and then keeping up with some other tasks that I've done, I left a little area at the top where I can write those in. Either it's responding to comments, um, 
responding to comments or answering emails or doing some posts for Instagram. I want to put that there. All right, so now it is time to place down my Mambi sticks. And you guys, this sticker is so cute to me, but it is a little bigger than I thought. So it's going to overlap some of my colorful boxes. And so I'm just going to remove those um, stickers there so I can place those down. And then what I'm going to do is just um, put them back over there so that way I'm able to still write in that box and it doesn't take over that space. And then I didn't want to have to put that sticker in the middle and then have to slice it and then punch it and all of that. So to save me some time, I decided to go ahead and just slice the sticker in half and then just put them at the edge there so that way I don't have to worry about repunching my pages. And I think it worked out well. I really didn't want to cut the sticker, but I felt like now I should have just kind of did some more trimming to it. But it's down. It's done, and I'm over it. <laughs> but it turned out really cute. I really love this. And you guys, I love fall, okay? I know I said I love summer, but this summer in South Carolina has been very disrespectful. It's been so hot and so muggy. I'm just over it. So now we are actually getting that fall weather in South Carolina, and I am so here for it. I'm ready for just the... Oh, just the fashion, just putting on some nice cozy boots, some fuzzy socks, that sweater. Oh, my gosh. And last fall, I did try some nice fall, like, um, beverages from Starbucks. And so I want to start going in and doing that again and um, getting to taste some more recipes. Now, I'm not a big pumpkin spice type of person, but I will drink it from Starbucks if it's made right. But I don't know, like, I need some more recipes. So if you guys have some ideas of some other little drinks that I should try for the fall, please feel free to comment down below. Let me know because um, I would love to try them just to try to get out of my comfort zone, actually, because I will always revert back to my, my, my tea. I love to drink hot tea, um, adding some little cream, some milk or anything just to kind of give it that warm, warm um, cozy type feel. Oh, my gosh, y'all. Oh, I'm so here for it. So if you enjoy fall, let me know in the comments as well. What do you like about fall? Do you have like a fall movie that you love to watch? If so, let me know down in the comments below. And so, okay, so you guys, I felt like that spread did not do it justice from that fall theme that I was looking for. So I went ahead and used some of those washies, the clouds and the grass, just to kind of make it feel like fall. And I just thought just tying in those washi tapes just kind of set it set it off and it just made the spread. It just looks so sick and cute. So I did add my little squirrel gathering the nuts. And um, actually that squad girls have some cute little um, acorn type um, stickers in there that are clear. So I just want to add them some more in there to the um, Mambi sticks. And I love how they look. And then I add my little pumpkin on the side just to kind of give it that fall theme. And then All right, guys, so I can talk about fall all day long if you let me, but I'm not. But I am finished with my spread for my social media, and I love how it turned out. These Mambi sticks were a really good accent to the spread. And, again, for those of you who probably didn't catch it, the sticker books that I used for this spread was my Oldie But a Goodie Squad Gold sticker book and my Fall Value Pack sticker book by the Happy Planner. That squirrel actually came out of that fall sticker book, and I thought it was a really cute. And then to also give me that really that fall vibe, I actually went ahead and used some washi. And I haven't used washi in a long time, so it was fun to use some washi in that spread. And then those squad girls there, and they actually came out of these Mammy Stick sticker pack. And I love them. They are huge stickers, but as you can see, it just makes this spread pop. And I love it. Oh, it's so cute. And I actually did a similar spread like this last fall in my fitness planner and I absolutely loved it. It is so cute. So I'll go ahead and try to link that video in here as well if you want to check out that from last year, from last fall. 
But let me know if you guys are making a fall bucket list. I don't think I'm going to do one this fall um, just because it's just a lot going on with virtual learning. I think I'm going to take a break from the bucket list. But if you're making a bucket list, let me know down below. Again, thank you guys for watching, and don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. Thanks for watching.